Over the past few years, LEGO sets have been getting more and more expensive. And with the release of the $500 Avengers Tower, $600 Eiffel Tower, and $800 AT-AT, it's easy to see it's not slowing down anytime soon. But these increasing prices have brought up an interesting question. Will LEGO ever make a $1,000 set? There are many different opinions on what set could be the first to break $1,000, but I strongly believe there never will be. Starting with the first reason, the numbers don't add up. So this here is a graph of the average price of every LEGO UCS set ever made for each year from 2000 to 2023. That is a mouthful. Anyway, I have adjusted all the sets for inflation and I have taken into account price adjustments as well. So this just looks like a bunch of dots right now, but if we do some extreme math and type in this equation, we get a line of best fit. So this line basically tells us that the average price of LEGO Star Wars UCS sets is increasing. And if we follow the line, we can see that the average price won't get to $1,000 each year until 2064. Now that really only means that it will be likely to take a while for sets to be on average usually over $1,000. But what if we only use the most expensive set from each year, because we really only need one set to go over $1,000? Well, we get these points, and if we follow this line of best fit, we can see it won't be until 2043 until the most expensive UCS set will be on average typically over $1,000. So this basically means that on the trajectory that we are heading with the average price of UCS sets, it will be a while for a $1,000 set to be the norm. And I'm assuming LEGO's going to want to take it slowly to make sure it's not a big shock when a $1,000 LEGO set comes out. But what if LEGO decides they are just going to make a $1,000 LEGO set right now, and these numbers don't mean anything? Well, that's where reason number two, limited options, will stop them. Now, this reason requires some thinking and logic. What do you think the first $1,000 LEGO set could be? Now, this is a question I've thought about for a long time now, and I've only come up with two options. You see, if LEGO was to release a $1,000 Star Wars set, it will have to be very iconic. So I thought it could be a Millennium Falcon or a Star Destroyer, but both of those sets have recently been made, and I don't think LEGO can really make those much bigger than they already are. I also realized it would probably either come from the prequels or the original trilogy. I don't think they would do any shows, or definitely not the sequels here. Thank goodness. That left me with two possible options for a $1,000 Star Wars set. The Jedi Temple and the Death Star. Now both of these are very iconic locations from Star Wars. I think the Death Star is more likely due to there being only two prequel UCS sets made in the last 10 years, but I'm still not sure how LEGO would actually build a Death Star that big. So it seems that LEGO will either have to wait a while until people forget about the UCS Millennium Falcon to remake it, or they will never make a set this big. So let's say LEGO waits 10 years, and then they try to release a $1,000 Millennium Falcon. They will then face reason number three, why it won't work, the negative consumer effect. So what do most people think about when they think of LEGO? Most average people will think of LEGO as a toy. And for one thing, pricing a toy at $1,000 will seem ridiculous for a lot of people. But LEGO has attracted a more adult audience over the past few years. For example, look at LEGO's profit graph. See how the sales shoot up in 2020? This was when LEGO launched their adults welcome theme. That saw lots of sets aimed at more adult audiences. And this has brought LEGO to release more expensive sets. But don't you think a $1,000 LEGO set is a little extreme for even adult collectors? Pricing something for that much makes people think about what else they could buy. Would I rather pay $1,000 for some huge plastic model or pay my mortgage? So as you can see, LEGO releasing a $1,000 set would have a mixed response and overall I think it is not a risk LEGO would take. So overall, I think that one of two things will happen in the next few years. Either LEGO will never release a $1,000 set and this video will be correct, or they will immediately announce after I upload this that they are going to remake the UCS Falcon for $10,000 and this video will instantly be ruined. But to be honest, knowing LEGO, the closest they will ever get to $1,000 is $999.99.